Welcome everybody to another episode of Watch Once Over. This is going to be the 2020 uh, first state of the collection. Some things have changed. Um, I almost have totally new watches except for this one. And this is my Casio Casino Royale. This is a $20 watch. And I use this watch all the time when doing odd jobs and doing anything where you might have a some kind of hazard to your watch like working on the car or something and you can replace this pretty much easily for 20 bucks so that's my hazard watch everybody should have one of these I don't really call it a beater because I only wear it when I know I'm going to be doing something that may or a watch may take a strike or a hit or something now the next watch is my only Fleeger watch. Now, I just did a review on this yesterday, and this is the Review Tom and XL Airspeed. I really like this watch. Still in the honeymoon phase, and it's a really great watch. Check into this if you don't have a, a Fleeger watch. This is a Type A, and it's it's really nice. And I want you guys to leave a comment of. Um, what do you think and I'm also going to put some pictures up of the next watches I'm going to be purchasing now I'll do my dive watches now this was a Christmas present this past Christmas this is a, a Jivril uh, Wall Street and it's blue and it's beautiful this watch is really high quality and it's probably a reason why I'll never get a Submariner because I really have too many divers and I really like wearing this watch. Javril Wall Street. It's blue. Now my next diver is going to be my Seiko Sunset. And this is the one with the green dial SPB105J I believe. And I really like this watch. I like the Zeratsu polishing. And the Remaster 200 is probably your best bang for the buck for Seiko right now. Even though it has the older movement, the 6R15, it's really well regulated. And the dial is beautiful on this watch. And it's just a really good fitting watch. Even though it's a 43, it still has the curves and it lays on the wrist like a dream. Look at that, it's nice. Now, my last dive watch, that's going to be my Spring Draft Tuna. This watch is absolutely bonkers. It's thick. It's really light because it has a titanium outer end inner case. But it has the most powerful loom of any watch that I've ever owned. Some people say there's other more powerful watches, but for watches that are charging by the light, using a photoluminescence and not tritium I don't think nothing lasts as long or as brighter than Marine Master Luma Bright. I also did a review on this you can check back in my older videos and watch it it's one of my favorite watches now that's the lineup so far and then my dress watch it's my only dress watch I have currently and this is a um, a semi vintage, about 20 years old, Sursa, um, 19, late 1980s, early 1990s, um, Acutron Gemini. Now, this watch is running like a top, it has a 7750 Valjo, and it's not really that decorated, but it does have a open case back. I'll put it on a Airton Hirsch strap and this watch gets a lot of love gets a lot of wrist time has a beautiful sapphire crystal on there day date um, beautiful silver sub dials gear shape pattern um, a dial on there and it's, it's just it's just a really really nice watch and I'll show you all of them a little closer. That's the Accutron. Some Bulova 
That's when they were doing it right. Now they're owned by Citizen. That's the sunset. Love the sunset. The sunset is beautiful. Javrel, Wall Street. Watch definitely punches above its weight. Definitely. Probably my favorite Submariner homage. And then you have my review Tom and Flieger. This watch is a dream. I love this watch. Then got the Tuna Spring Drive. Look at that sweep. And this watch gets the most questions when I wear it. And it's always the same. Is it in the way? Is it too big? Like, no. It's great, actually. And it's super light because it's titanium. Look at that anti fog crystal turn yellow. It's an anti fog crystal. That's the yellow U it gives off. Then again, got the Casio Royale, which everybody needs this in their collection. Now, I'll put up some pictures of some watches that I'm going to get. One is going to be a 116 uh, 300 Rolex, and I want to get the one with the lavender dials with the bicolor loom. And another one I'm going to get is a uh, uh, show part. And I also put those. I put those two up right here. So you, one on the right, one on the left, and you can see where my collection, it, where it's morphing to. Now, a lot of people ask me, am I going to get a Submariner? But I got three divers, and a Submariner will have to definitely take the place of one of these. And once I get the, the Rolex date, I don't think I'm going to be wearing the Submariner on like that because I do have three other divers that I really like. Now I have a Flieger, a Beater, and a Dress Watch. So... That's the state of the collection. You tell me how things are going. My name is Biggie, and I'll talk to you guys on the next one. Have a great day.